Barnard Castle is a ruined medieval castle situated in the town of the same name in County Durham. It is a scheduled ancient monument and was designated as a Grade II listed building in 1950. The remains of the medieval chapel of St Margaret's in the outer ward are listed as Grade II. A stone castle was built on the site of an earlier defended position by Guy de Balliol at some time between 1095 and 1125. Later, between 1125 and 1185, Guy's nephew, Bernard de Balion, and his son, Bernard II, extended the building. In 1216, Alexander II of Scotland besieged the castle when it was still held by the Balliol family, although its ownership was at the time disputed by the bishops of Durham. When John Balliol was deposed as King of Scotland in 1296, the castle was passed to the Bishop of Durham. Around 1300, Edward I granted it to the Earl of Warwick. In the 15th century, the castle passed by marriage to the Neville family. In 1477, during the War of the Roses, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, later Richard III, took possession of the castle, which became one of his favourite residences. Over the next two centuries, the Nevilles enlarged and improved the estate and created a substantial and impressive castle. However, when Charles Neville, the 6th Earl of Westmoreland, was attainted for his leading role in the Rising of the North, the Neville estates were sequestered. In 1626, the Crown sold the castle and also the Neville property at Raby Castle to Sir Henry Vane. Vane decided to make Raby Castle his principal residence and Barnard Castle was abandoned. Its contents and much of its masonry was removed for the maintenance and improvement of Raby. Barnard Castle is in the custody of English heritage and is open to the public. Barnard Castle's best known ghost is that of a woman that mediums have claimed is called Lady Anne Day, of whom little is known except that she lived during the 16th century and was murdered at the castle while still relatively young. She was allegedly thrown to her death from the castle wall into the Tees below by an unknown assailant. Visitors to the castle have witnessed a young woman dressed all in white fall from the castle walls some have claimed this fall is accompanied by her scream. She just vanishes. Many visitors to the castle have experienced an uneasy feeling in the round tower. Some have described it as the sense that someone is following them. On a previous visit there, most of the castle did not have any feelings for me whatsoever. But crossing into the inner ward and approaching the constable tower there was the impression of a couple of boys in colourful blue and yellow tunics running around. Slightly later, while at the oriel window 
with the boar carved in the stone above, I was overcome with immense sadness of a female energy staring out of the window and crying. But for me, the most active area was the round tower, for there was a definite male presence following me around as I entered and climbed the stairs. He wasn't hostile, but he was definitely there. And unfortunately, I didn't see a spirit associated with the feeling. Undercroft with the well uh, just over there are the stairs going up. We're going to do a little bit of session in here before we do anything else. Concentrating on this as well. There we go. One EM meter. Set to read on some sort of read electric and magnetic. And if that goes off, I'll be surprised. But I'm doing an experiment. I will see if that picks up on anyone down here. Can you come near this for me and see if you can set this off? Is there anyone actually in here with me? Come and just tell me your name. What I'm interested in is King Richard III. Is anybody here who was around at the time of King Richard III? Unfortunately, as you can hear, there's a lot of motorbikes around today. There's a storm in the castle at Whitman Castle. So we'll see what we get. So is there anybody around with me? Can you come, can you come near this before me? Can you come near this? If you come near this, it should like it should trigger. Please come try and touch it for me. We'll go up there in a minute. So anybody here at all, please? Anybody at all? Okay, we're going to move upstairs. There we go, we're going out. We're turning around. And that ahead is the Oriole window. Well, we're sitting down here and we're right near the site hut, and that's the main gate. And we're sitting out here, down here, and having coffee. And while I've been here, I've been looking at the round tower. Now, in the square opening there, there's been a man who's rather a large chap, very squarish. He's got incredibly close cropped hair, if not going a bit bald. He's got a, a sort of red ochre 
Gamberson on and he's quite annoyed at people because somebody walked across the courtyard of the, the castle over there towards him and he, I hear, heard very clearly bastards so he's not that happy now while I've been looking up in that window there there was a woman who walked from that side to that side and she had a very regal bearing about her um, she had a sort of I'll find an image for this for later but she had a bum like The uh, outer wall, that's the site hut where you go and pay your money or show your card if you remember. That's the gatehouse. Up there, that's the round tower. And that around there is the remains of the medieval castle. Okay, I'm going to go into one of the uh, gatehouses or towers. Go down below to start with. <clears throat> See over there it had a guard rope shaft, because that's the clean out hole. Brackenbury Tower, there we go. As it says in there, Brackenbury Tower. Entrance in there to the guard rope shaft. Fireplace. Going up, I don't think you can again. That's too dark. Okay, anybody in here with me? Just come say hello. Anybody here new King Richard? Asking for my friend Maria. Did anyone know King Richard who's still here? Were you here when Richard was here at all? <laughs> 